Oh, Raven, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Or not tonight, today, today. <laughs> Here's a mighty Lieutenant Kier at your service. Along... Yeah. Oh, wait, they cannot speak here. <laughs> along with Glacier Boy, and welcome back to Valheim. And, yeah, since last time, we've been a bit busy. Like, we've smelted all of the black metal. We've processed, well, a good few batches of linen. So now we can actually make the next level of armor. In fact, uh, I've already made myself a sword and the armor pieces that I was missing, since I already had the padded, uh, <coughs> the padded cures. So yeah, just going to take these quickly and yeah, swap them out. We, we, started, we were to upgrade on stream, but they realized, at least I realized that, oh, it get us so much into the box that we need to upgrade now just to have space in the damn box. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. looks like Glacier Boy has already made himself a set as well. Uh, I don't think so. That's silver armor. Hmm. Okay, my... Hmm. It looks similar. Glacier Boy, have you made yourself a set of padded armor yet? And there's enough metal for whatever black metal weapon you want. Okay, then I'm just they seeing things. <laughs> yeah, they use powder, they use silver. But soon that will change. Okay, we have more than enough over here in the box to the left. Put down a box on the right for just extra stuff that isn't as used anymore. And yeah, I went for the black metal sword. <laughs> because, well, swords are cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I usually realized I forgot to grab my food. Uh, don't break stuff. <laughs> All right, so for today, what we have planned is basically just exploring to try and find uh, the next biomes, which should be... Yeah, just, yeah, planes, of course, but we need to find a planes big enough to actually house the, uh, the boss and, well, <laughs> able to survive the attacks. Okay. Uh, we've redecorated a little bit inside. We've got now three of these stone ovens in exchange for, well, half of our <laughs> meat barrels. So now we can make bread as well. We've you know, turned the linen farm into a barley farm. Uh, I don't think we've shown the, <clears throat> the farm since we made that off screen. So I might as well show that. Uh, the planes for we did do on stream, but... Uh... Oh, what we did that's afterwards. Was, that's we, we, okay. we didn't show what we were doing on it beside building up. Okay, may as well show it off for anyone new then. Uh, yeah, we've got a, oh, we've got some of it harvested already. So yeah, this is where we grew our linen and now our barley. And yeah, with double <clears throat> with double rewards, yeah, you get a lot from each of these, like four each. Yeah. Yeah, four. This does mean, like, normally you need to replant half your harvest. For us, we need to replant one quarter. Yeah, which means that we have a lot more to actually process, which speeds things up a lot. Okay. 
I just grab sure everything. With me the, uh, I, I will bring you the cultivator. Yeah, it's hanging on the wall at the moment. Or should be. Oh, I know. I put it there. That's not. Yeah, that doesn't have enough room to grow. Okay. I think we should have enough to replant everything from what is still growing. So I'm just going to run this through the windmills. Yeah, just have like 100 remaining. Or do you grab everything? Yeah, it's not. Not everything is ready for harvest. Oh. Like, I do suspect as quick we sleep, it will be. Probably, yeah. <clears throat> okay, now the question is, in what direction are we going to start exploring? Uh, are we put the cultivator in a box on the farm? Since, yeah, that's where we like we need it the most now. Though we could explore the, the planes where we are at the moment for... If we can find a stone to tell us where the next boss is, then we know where to go. True, and there should be a tar pit there, and we need that for more comfort items. Oh yeah, uh, thank you for reminding me something, but there's something new we can make. Oh? Uh, let's see... Alright, I know what I need. Let's see here. The leftover bones. Okay, I did not expect that us to get raided during the pre-stream. Yeah, hilarious if it happened the during the introduction, but a bit too early, sadly enough. Yeah. Okay, I see Glacier Boy is still using his uh, axe, so it's forgot how to make a black metal either. It should be here. easily shown here. It should be iron, black metal, and fine wood, I think. Let me we take a look. Fine wood and cool wood and regular wood. What fine wood, heck? black metal, and linen. And we should have plenty of <clears throat> fine wood, though we're as good as out on uh, normal wood. I, I just said that. <laughs> I just said all of that. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to quickly hang up my old armor here. Or rather, the pieces of old armor that I still have. Put the back there, yeah, put the casual clothes in there. Okay. And yeah, the, the chicken farm is going well from <laughs> the squeaking that I'm hearing, or squeaking, squawking, whatever, the, the peeping. Okay. Oh dear. And yeah, we now have enough bones that we can just put them in a box on their own. Okay. Time for a new comfort item. Let's see. That goes there. Let's throw that, that. And then the necktails. Uh, those go somewhere here. We probably should replace some of these uh, smaller chests with bigger ones. Just have the more general and specific things. There. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. Um, does anyone remember where we left the boat? Uh, good question. Very good question, actually. Yep. <laughs> and yes, it's that time of year still. Hmm. Don't stab me all the furniture. Uh, yeah, where did we leave the boat by the harbor or by the plains? Hmm. I think it might. I might have left it to the north of here. Uh, why you threw me the axe? I don't get why Glacier Boy throws me everything they don't want to use anymore. <laughs> Maybe we should put up a, a bit of a junk box then. 
It's a bit you early for that. You, you don't throw an axe away. I put it in his box. Okay, I'm going to check to the north if that's where we left the boat. We, we probably should just put a marker on that thing whenever we leave it behind. Yeah. And I think we left it north of the circle. Hmm. That, that reminds me, sometime, sometime in a new world, we should probably see if we can just make a circular longhouse around, <clears throat> around the, the starting circle. Circular longhouse. Yeah, something like that. Hill? Listen to what you said. Uh, found the boat. There is no such thing as a circular longhouse. <laughs> we can call it a loop house. And I also found where we left the other boat. Oh, where? <laughs> right next to the other one. And where was that? Where I'm now, north of the circle. Okay, there should be enough in there for all of the padded armor, Glacier Boy. Oh yeah, th th there's some in the cart. I think there should be plenty in just in the. Uh, I bring them over. Just in the box left of the, of the, of the work stuff. Again, mm. on the floor. Okay, shall I bring this thing around over to our side, or shall we just tear it down here and bring it out? Next to the the planes. I would say bit let's small leave planes. it for now. For we have a portal to the planes we have our form on. But there's still some areas we not explored. We still could have just a if he has the rune stone that tells us where we need to go. That will help a lot. Okay, we at least know where this thing is. So I'm just going to make a mark on it quickly. And run back. Hmm. Uh, sure, we never fully explored the Mother's Mountain. But th this has happened to me on a map. I had the Mother and the Plain Boss on the same island. Okay, I do believe that they, sp they need to be a certain distance from spawn, or at least the center of the world, to be able to spawn. Yeah. So maybe uh, they are they, on the same they, island. Yeah, they can be on the uh, same island, just not the same starter island, only you have an extremely massive one. Hmm. Okay, so maybe I should break this, break the boat down and bring it over. Because otherwise we we'll have that. to run back. Well, it's not that far from us at the moment, so it's, that's not a sh long run. So I say we leave it alone for now. Uh, why you keep throwing stuff at me? Are you the one making trying to turn the place into a Christmas center? No, they always do that on each stream and throw stuff at me. Like if they have something they don't want to throw it at me. Press it. What am I supposed to do with Three blueberries. Uh, give them as a present to someone else. You volunteer? <laughs> no. Oh, gee, gods. I'm so mm. run at the lunatics. But yeah, I say we go to the plane we have already, just in case we're... Again, the damn thing is small. It could be in a ruin or anything. And we find it, we know where it is. But if it ain't up in the dead planes, yeah, then we definitely need to decide where we go east, south, west, north. Okay, yes, let me just need repair to my look gear. At the plane we already have. Okay, and if we don't find anything there, we go grab the boat, bring it over, and. <laughs> and see if uh, it's maybe on Motors Island somewhere. And in the meantime, I should grab some more foods. Uh, 
All right, yeah. there we go. You all need to get up some food, I say. Cook chicken. Yep. I'll grab four of that. Yeah, I'll I will say this, people. On. If you start a new world and bring some chicken eggs, definitely do that. For those chicken legs alone only need to be cooked over fire, and it's better than sausage. Yeah, I'm just going to put them next to each other. Let's see. 60 health compared to 55. 20 stamina compared to 18. Long, yeah, lower duration by 5 minutes, but the healing is f is almost double. 3 on sausages compared to 5 on chicken. Uh, what do you need 40 wood for, Glacier? Yeah, what, what are you getting wood for, Glacier Boy? Let me grab right. a few more of those. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Might as well put this there. Okay. Everyone ready to head out then? Everyone has their new black metal weaponry and the padded armor. I have my hammer still. So I should probably... Uh, let's see. I will make my weapon. Okay, Glacier Boy has his weapon and his uh, padded armor. Uh, where is it? Okay. Uh, don't forget your, <laughs> don't forget your uh, cape or cloak, uh, Glacier Boy, <laughs> since we might be heading towards the the mountain. Did you put it away somewhere? There we go. Linen, needle, fine wood, okay. And you're making the morning star? Yep, and that one costs iron and not black metal for some reason. Guess it, do we have enough needles for that? We should have. <laughs> we have 42 over here. Uh, Alright, can you throw me them? I will probably use this hammer against the boss on the boss fight, my regular Frostnor, but against the Frewlings, while it does slow them, it doesn't knock them away quite far, which can sometimes be a bit annoying. Yeah, I'll probably switch between. Okay. <laughs> Holy, that's cheap to upgrade two iron, two needles. Okay. For the first upgrade. Second, uh, four iron, four needles. Let's see, iron and linen thread to upgrade the padded armor. My padded cures was already upgraded to the max from our previous world, I believe. Black metal, oh, mine, ten and five. Mine's not fully up, uh, upgraded yet. I will, I will wait with fully upgrading my weapon, but I will upgrade my armor fully. A new bow. Do you, do you have to draw your fang, Glacier Boy? I don't even know what the next level of bow may be, if there even is one. A oh, oh, fine one. wood, yeah, that's a bit behind. Uh, let's see, Huntsman. Where is... Wait, it's not here, I believe. Okay, my gear is fully upgraded. I put back what I did not use. One of celebration, no. Fine woods. Okay, it is in the forge here. Let's see. Yep, Draugr Fang. And just for, yeah. Ancient bark, silver, deer hide, and guck. Let's see. This Plenty is my first that. time ever crafting this weapon. It looks horrifying. <laughs> Let's 
silver we should have plenty of. More than plenty. Uh, where? Why is he even glows in the dark? Deer hide and gawk. <laughs> there. Now, how much gawk do we have? Dust, I don't boy. think we might. I, I think we might not have any at all. Yeah, I don't think we have any gawk. So I think the best we can make now. For for Glacier Boy is a Huntsman Bow. We'll put these over here to keep them aside. Let's see, Huntsman's Bow. Yeah. Fine wood, iron elbow? feathers. Yep, he has a fine wood, but the Huntsman Bow oh. is better, I believe. Yeah, it's the step below it from the looks of it. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, fine wood, iron feathers. Are you grabbing this stuff already yourself, <laughs> Glacier Boy? Okay, I'll just grab it then. Uh, fine woods. Iron feathers should be. Yep, there. And deer hides. Okay, I'll make it then, just to be extra sure that we don't make two. Uh, oh. Okay, we we don't have enough iron to make it now. We need six more. And I don't think we have any unsmelted. I guess this means we really need to off-stream gather more iron. Again, we, yeah. Yeah, do we do we did definitely have enough linear for we still have over 300 ungrinded flax. Uh let's see. I'm not going to be able to use any to upgrade my stuff, of course. But black metal and linen. We should have enough of that to make a few upgrades. So, black metal swords. Okay. And then it's one entire. <laughs> what? Uh, I just went uh, to the chicken bar and I just went, alright, they're still green. Then suddenly all of them grew up. <laughs> Okay, let's have a little comparison here. Let's see. Slash 113. And Frostner is 35 blunts, 58 frost, and 20 spirit. That is about, let's see, 80. About the same. Let's see, 30, 80, 100. Yeah, 113. Hmm. Okay, so it, a fully upgraded met black metal sword actually matches with the Frostner, which is a silver weapon, which should be... Okay. Yeah, Frostner is... A, is a, it, it, it is basically a magical special weapon. Hmm. And it, okay. that's why it, it's very popular. For, it's, its utility is so good for a long time. For it's good against the undead, it slows everyone and most things are and yeah all of them are this week to blonde and spirit the mainly enemies will be that for a long while okay and glacier boy got up on the roof somehow hmm. okay so we have to the farm then and explore before we spend like half an hour over here already Probably a good idea. I'm just gonna plant the barley. Mm. 
Yeah, that, that makes Frostner seem a little bit uh, overpowered if it's as strong as a max when maxed out, it's as strong as a maxed out weapon of the next level. Oh, it is not for you. We knew this, like, it's good in the Mistland, but not for long. Like, it's good. The bugs in the Mistland are resistant to spirits, or rather, okay. they take just normal damage or reduce damage from physical. And the frost damage is rather low on it, and yeah, it, it helps keep them uh, one or two of them at bay, but it will not help you in the long run, especially not if you meet several at a time. You will need better weapon than Frostnar. Just it lasts for a while. But I will say it makes sense. It's so powerful for it does require a special reagent you can only get from uh, uh, Haldor. Okay. I'll go so ahead with exploring for a bit. Hmm? I'll go ahead with exploring for a bit to see if I can find a tar pit that I think I saw somewhere around here. All right. I'm just going to finish planting. Still got bloody a lot. Let's see. I've been to that forest before. Lost harvesting fine woods. So I think it's to the left of that. And Glacier Boy needs to BRB. All right. All right. I put away the, the thing here and I will quickly bring home uh, the other stuff. Actually, I will mm. just. Uh, you see, uh, uh, the, do you throw all Bali into the windmills? Uh, most of it. What remained, I put in one of the boxes in the, uh, in the workshop. One that I already had in it. In the workshop. Okay, let's see. Ah, 31. The girl putting so we have. Okay, now we have 189, which is good. Now to get the extra rest of the buff back. Go. There you go. Now I'm coming back. For a moment, I thought that was a metal rock, but no. Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> Did not well, need to unequip my rose. sword there. Okay. You're you are over there. Okay, there's a little shrine here that I think I've raided before. Do you see any stone thing with it? And only the stone architecture, so no rune stone. Yeah, but they sometimes are next to them. Sometimes they're inside a stone circle. Like you, you can find them even in those towers at times. Okay. So there is a lot of things you should check out when exploring the plains. For you may unknowingly just walk past it. But there are... And yeah, it says there are no... But there's only one dungeon, but it's a special dungeon. So you will only find those uh, rune stones on the surface. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can... reach nope. you, and it's already getting dark. Okay, I... Oh, I found the tar pit, and there's a bunch of Loxus fighting in it. <laughs> Just exploding That's... stuff in the distance. Yeah, oh, as you know, apparently the Grove, the tar monsters, count as undead. Okay. Are you weak to silver? <laughs> but also no, fire. reason to use the Frostner still. Oh, yeah. Is that Lox running away because it's hurt or something? 
Because if it is, it'll make for an easy kill. Eek. Yeah, we need we will need the locksmith for you, you can use the locksmith in the mistland on a meat platter. Eek. Locksmith, hair meat, and some skr meat. Uh, let's see here. All right, so we have two tar pits. That's good. I do wonder if someone has ever tried to use tar pits to circle the base with it. Circle the what? Uh, a base with tar pits. So you need to empty it. Okay. So in a way, you could make a tar pit mode. Like, he would work uh, kind of, since it's low enough ground to, to kind of work like that here. Just okay, let's not take off the locks. Welcome uh, back, lazy welcome boy. Back. Um, I anger the fluffy. Back. Yeah, it, it sounds like an interesting idea, doesn't it, lazy boy? A tote? I don't what? think that's what people mean with a tote bag. Wait, that's a word? Yes, yeah, a small bag that conventions with uh, small rewards and such. Okay, first time I heard of it. Wait, will the poison kill it? Nope. Oh, holy! The, the one to the farm. Um. He'll look at my weapon. <laughs> Glow in the dark. <laughs> okay, yeah. This makes it easier to fight the foolings with this weapon. For, again, Frostmas knockback is a blessing and a curse. Yeah. Well, it can keep them away, but it makes it hard to kill them as well. Okay. Oh, tar. I've got eight. Let's see, I've got six. And I think something just spawned in on top of you there, or was it just stuff kicking up? Uh, if you uh, poke the tar balls, they will fly up. Like, if you come here and poke it. Uh, okay, that's what happened. Hmm. Let's see if they found... All right, they, they found the portal. Pretty good. Holy, it's over here already. Yeah, we're gonna need to empty this if we want to get all the tar. And due to it's too low to the ground, that's why I've been wondering, will this work as a tar moat? I think it's too small for that, but how exactly do we empty these things out then? Let me show you. Digging it out? Yep, that's where the moat comes in. <laughs> For you need to drain it. Now you see why I'm ta why I talk about the tar moats. Okay, huh? uh, I think Glacier Boy ran into something. Uh, you need saving Glacier Boy. Okay, yeah, I'll head on over. <laughs> okay, just run in this direction towards us. <laughs> Let's see where. Oh. Okay, he's at the mountains. Okay, actually, probably faster to run without these. Even if it is just ten percent. Of course, I run into mosquitoes. Yeah, something I also learned recently on another character. It's easy to kill mosquitoes with swords, since. You be have easier time timing when you swing the sword as they charge you. And the swords have longer reaches than the hammers, I think. 
Only slightly. Okay. Found Glacier Boy. Now let's head on. There are a pair of boxes here. Okay. Now it's just curious at the moment, it's not hostile yet. He would be yet. A few links behind the rock pillar. Okay. <laughs> then less time chatting and more time running away from it so it can't catch up to you whilst you're chatting. Oh yeah, I should probably say this. We may not do Dob of Valheimstein today, sadly, people. But we may do more Dave the Diver or Sonic this evening. Probably Dave the Diver. Since I, yeah, need, to I, check, I need to test out with uh, Sonic Adventure which of the mods are actually causing complications or not. I don't know. I've also do the same suggestion for the same reason. Yeah. <laughs> I've also asked you about that earlier, but forgot. Oh, bloody heck. Due to be so close to the coast, it feels up so much faster over here. <laughs> but yeah, do you see that way I mean with that tar mode? Yeah. <laughs> At least it should work on one side. That was 30 tar. I'm so glad it won't lit on fire if you walk into the patrol with this. Okay, I'm at min max capacity, so just going to throw out some rock. Oh, somebody is stuck in the tower as well, still. Okay, I send the bonfire of another fueling camp <clears throat> to the southwest. Yeah, and here's the thing also. We still want to raid the fueling camps here for the totems. We still need the totems after all. Okay, what exactly are they used again for? Spawning Jagulf. Ah, the right, under the literal upper half of our giant lich. Okay, Ooh, I think it needs more space to flow out into. Yeah, I'm gonna prepare an extra hole over here. Just... I'm gonna make it deep before I connect it to the tar pit, since... Yeah, you will end up needing to swim after all. I should hmm. eat. I didn't expect this game to actually have some fluid yeah, dynamic fluid physics beyond yeah, well, the planned, ocean. They planned to wonder uh, there they should do this with water, but after two it with the torpid, they realized let's not do this with water. Well, it could be this, uh, really mess uh, with the game, they realized. Yeah. Okay, I'll explore around for another p runestone, maybe. Oh. Uh, let's see. Do we get it all out? Almost. It's still stuck. Really? Oh, yeah, a spear thrower. Oh, yeah, what's up for those? Do I did notice uh, uh, on another character of mine that she were able to take a spear through <laughs> like a sham with root armor chest piece? Okay, is my so dodging around? Mosquito attacks. So root armor may be a very good exploring armor for the planes. It, it's not super armor, but it's still good. Pr main problem with root armor is it's. With weak to fire, there's only a few mobs that does fire. 
the old, old pro me probably is. Yeah, two star fooling. Uh oh. But yeah, main problem is you need to fight the abominations to make it. And yeah, they hit like trucks. And there were foolings are fighting or were fighting Tari here. Now they're fighting me. Yep, and the skeleton. Oh. This little remaining tar is being a nuisance, I say. Okay, I think it'll probably be best to keep the, the frost nurse around for dealing with high level stuff that we want to keep at a distance. Yeah. Oh, damn it, that little top. Uh. Okay. I can't pick any of this up, so I'll just mark it on the map for the moment. Okay, I think I actually rose the tar pit in a bit here. Yeah, I feel like we, next time we do toss this, we do this, we do a big hole nearby, then the path for it to run out. Let's see, it seems that the mountain here extends quite a bit further than I originally thought. Okay, but I am getting to the edge of the plains here, where it goes back into dark forests. Or black forests and yeah, black forest. Okay, no sight of rune stones though. <clears throat> so I guess that does mean we'll have to go get the bow to break it down. And, yeah, check along the other islands. Oh, I found another tar pit. Oh, yeah, it, it, I looked for a post one earlier. But I got the lost uh, tar pit. I got the lost tar pit. <laughs> you know, don't need to dig any more uh, glitch boy. We are free. Oh, so that much. That was supposed rock. to happen. Yeah, there's a lot of rocks we cannot pick. Alright, okay. let's see here. Where did... Over there. Right. Alright, we're getting your boy. Let's find uh, our captain, or y'all, in this case. Got that one. Okay, I've marked the... Yeah, I've marked the tar pits. And running back because, well, I'm full on stuff. So I can't really do much more. Okay, the, yeah. the village has three big boys, and I can see you two jumping on the other side. I'm not jumping. I saw someone jump. Uh, that's Glacier Boy. And they're running at the village for some reason. I can see their shaman, and I think they've noticed me, but not enough to actually turn hostile yet. Uh, one of them is hostile, though. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah, let's just bail. Okay, those muck bombs would be useful here. Let's just run. There, <laughs> there's too many of them. There's like a, literally a dozen or more. And they kill Glitch Boy. There, that's a one star with the flame. Hey, I'm bailing. Lost? 
I, I killed him. They have no one star anymore. They are weak. <laughs> okay, still don't knock back with this weapon. Okay. But that is, that's at least the ones that were chasing us done. Okay. There's so much blood metal and coin! <laughs> I did say that I ran into a two-star earlier. A toaster? A two-star. There we go, but you, you just said toaster. <laughs> well, I guess that's what we can call the flame and the, the, the torch ones. Oh, that's kind of fitting. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna need to unload. Let's see, can I snipe a one or two more? Okay, they're all retreated back into the village. I you that we didn't we never marked out on the map where the farm is. Can I get a land hit with this? Yep, <laughs> overshots. I'm mostly doing this just to get the sneak attacks on them, to weaken them for when we actually clear this place out. Right, they can get hurt by their own palace spike traps. <laughs> okay, time to run. We'll pick up whatever doesn't lose too much interest, but oh, beyond the that... Oh, the big ones are coming after us! <laughs> You only now noticed. I noticed, but didn't know they were able to catch up that quickly with each other. Okay. One of the big ones just lost interest, or all of them lost interest. One of them is. <laughs> one of them was hesitating for a bit. Yeah, they're all hesitating to... Yeah, they're they're gone, Glacier Boy. So... You... Wait, one's coming back. But only one of the big ones. Oh. Yeah, we can pick them off. It's the Berserker. Yes, yes, just give us more time to shoot you, you idiot. Yeah, Before allow me to smash finish. your arse with this. <laughs> okay, that's at least one of the three gone. Yeah, now it should be safe. Okay. It's probably a good idea to run to the farm and unload there, then run back to get out this level. Next time we go, go to the, the a new map, I want us to have as much black metal and tar as possible so we can make the best storage chest early as possible yeah i'm going to meet glacier boy in case he runs into wolves which it sounds like he has <laughs> oh yeah I, I can see i think the mountain is uh, a good uh shortcut out of rest, okay, we have several reasons to return <laughs> home. Okay, that's also a good reason to run. There's a Lux on his ass. And Lux chased over the mountain after him? Okay, yeah, I can see it now. What the heck? It was It's in a the mountain, Lux. Oh, dear God. Uh, we should probably tame those, so we do get a lot of meat just kill them in a while, but still. Riding them would be nice. No. Wouldn't we be able to butcher them if we can breed them? Oh yeah, that's this one of the reasons I would like us to tame them. Now, but then we don't need to hunt them so much. But we would need a damn big uh, place to put them in. Probably easier to just build a big pen around here for that. 
Yeah, we, we, we do have lots of sneaky farm, so it would probably be easier to just build that thing over here. So if we have silos, we could just ride them home. Okay, did you get your stuff, Glacier Boy? Okay, he's at his grave at the moment. So I'll just keep these two busy. Yeah, and now it's my turn to die. <laughs> really? Okay, at least Glacier Boy should have <laughs> drawn away whatever was along the path. Hmm. Ah, kid. Of course, I'm only left with the bow. But <laughs> I've still got my arrows. And this way, first, though. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna need some comfort items over here in this little farmhouse, possibly. Okay, time for a quick trek over the mountain. <clears throat> <clears throat> Dragon a bit wrong there. Mm. Okay. Now, if we just grab our stuff, dump what we can. It, of course, foolings in the mountain. Dump what we can at the base. Grab whatever else is left. And yeah, then we can go explore with the boats. Wait. You didn't feel anything that looks like as a runestone at all? Nope. Well then, then I guess we will have to sail to another spot. Unless there is one in that village. The, possible? There, be, there, there is good chance we find rune, uh, the totems things we will need. Okay, I saw at least one of those in there. Yeah, then we have a reason to go back there. I put the tar in this. I put the rock in this. There's a freaking dog on my tail. down okay <laughs> finally lost it okay I've got 76 tar on me yeah I got had about a 26 or something okay more than plenty for the comfort items I believe you are said that. the the hot tub and something else. Let me see what I can make. We have okay. So hot tub needs ten iron. More days to get more iron. Okay, I may. Do have any any remaining? Oh wait. What did I pick up? Okay, for? I can. Make us the hot tub. I will do it right away. Okay. Wolves are trying to get at me again. There's the farm. We probably should just pick up enough stuff for a few portals again. Lox is in the way, so I'll detour to a hill there. Yeah, it probably good to have a yeah, at least have some explorer portals again and all that. Mm. 
Okay, locks at the walls. Oops. Let's see, we need more mushrooms, or are there any... Nope, none regrew here. Okay, do gotta wonder what the dwarf is thinking about, just <laughs> all naked humans charging past every now and then. <laughs> okay, Glacier needs to be our bee again. Let's see. Trophy box. Money box. Then the food box. Actually, how are we on needles? Okay, put those there. Woods. Then the black metal goes here. Locks for coats, whatever. And then the rest of the food goes over here. Did the bird just spawn? Because I saw I bring tidings. Yeah, he spawns with your... Make a bathtub. And, oh, damn it, I put it too close to something here. I need to rebuild it. Oh, <laughs> uh, where the heck to put it? Berries there. Okay. Where should we put the rest of the tar? Uh, in a box that you think is good? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll put it in a box in the workshop then. Okay, 17. So barley, or flour. Okay, it doesn't reach. Uh, oh. Oh, it doesn't like where I put it anyway, so I just put it. Will this work, perhaps? Oh. Wait, I see now. I can. I just should just be able to put it here. It, of course, immediately the bird uses it. Is <laughs> seventeen here? Fifteen <laughs> here? What? Okay, come look. What I guess the this heck? makes you, it a bird skip... bath. Oh, wait, I can't see the bird. <laughs> I was standing on him. Oh, and they poofed. Bird. And apparently it's too far... Wait, I, I'm a bit confused. Okay, 15 here? Hmm. Can you put it over here? I did, and it got choked. Okay. 17 here, okay. Maybe we need to make a little opening for it. Oh, it's not choking here, but it's too far away. Oh. Like, it's... I am... a bit baffled. <laughs> I think we, I think we'll need to uh, extend, build a bit of an extension okay. in this corner then to put it Fe here. Seventeen. We have seventeen here. Why doesn't it count, Caleb's? Who does not count, count Caleb's bed? All right, never mind. So it's working. But yeah, one of the reason I wanted to double the comfort range for all items is because of this damn thing. I, I love it and hate it. <laughs> For it needs somewhere to unleash its uh, smoke. It's damn big. Hmm. And normally you, you would not want this 
next to the damn bed normally, would you? Yeah. I'm, I'm having a bit of a thought that to put it a little bit into the chimney, like build a little bit of a, a, a one block extension into it and pushing it in a bit. I am not against the idea. And technically, we could just shrink the things down there. Though we had put so much work to that, so yeah. In the uh, future, we, no, I, I no, we have, we, can we go on. I, I don't think we'll need to shrink down the ba the ground floor here. We can shrink down the chimney up higher. Uh, I just meant that these, I could shrink these two down. <laughs> but yeah, in the future, since I know now how to center these damn things with a trick, with a uh, door. Is it there? So yeah. Yeah, we could, we could give both a try. In future. Wait, what? We could give both a try, like shrinking down the chimney or shrinking down the ground, the, the fireplace. Like, yeah, we could no. use the half blocks up there to limit it down a little bit. Yeah, I, I can say this. One thing I should have done is I, put, I should have made this the major kitchen area and this area where we have dining tables, sleeping room overhead. For the <laughs> stairs is part of the problem. It takes away space to put things on. And if you see here, we have a little hole over here by the wall. Just under there. That would have been perfect for the bathtub to be near. Okay. <laughs> so, Oh, we have it on the other side as well, but yeah. The, the, that's a renovation I think we can do off stream, actually. For so that's probably easier to do. Yeah. Also, one of our guests is just leaving. Might as well put them to use immediately. Yeah, uh, put away the nails and such. Okay, woods, stone, and Ooh. one needle to put away. There. There we go. Okay, we've already got three fooling totems, but we can always use more. We need more. Yeah. <laughs> we need like five or six. So, okay. yeah, we need more. And, by the way, what do you think of the new table? Yeah, okay, it looks pretty good. Yeah, uh, uh, this is easier to move to the other side, as you can see here. But actually, we're not using this part for much anyway. Yeah, we're only putting the, we've only got the artisan's table planted here. Yeah, and actually, yeah, just putting a table here and the beds in this side will be easier. No rebuilding chimneys or anything, just moving things, the furniture around. Okay. Let's see, is there anything else that we can make with the barley? Yeah, we have so much food storage here, we can move all the food over here easily as well. <clears throat> and yeah, we really should replace these with bigger chests and have them less specialized, since now it's a bit of a hassle to try and find each and every separate thing. Yeah, but we need more iron for that. Actually, we don't. Mm -hmm. We have tar now, and we have black metal. Yeah, but shouldn't we use that more for the weapons first? Then again, I've already have upgraded you seen mine. seen how much black metal we gathered? <laughs> and what's out on the field after our massacre? Good point, but I think we need two stacks each for... Uh, yours doesn't need black metal, so actually... I only upgraded mine to max. And okay, it costs... That's it, I'm gonna share. What does it cost? It costs six black metal. <laughs> two okay, tall and ten regular wood. Then Glacier Boy can upgrade their weapon and all the rest of the black metal can go to storage. Quite literally. Yeah, at least, at least some... 
So let me grab a few. <laughs> let me grab 12 for now. There we go. And now we're going to show you the wonderful thing about these. Uh, let's see. Yep. Okay, we can make barley wine for fire resistance. Uh, does the boss, does the plane's boss use fire? He does use fire, we need that. And also, if you can, can come over here, he'll... Okay, then uh, we definitely need to make some of those. <clears throat> Position it right. Glacier Boy is back, upgrading your weapons. Yes, then we can use the remaining black metal or metal boxes. Behold! Okay, they're, they're smaller than the uh, reinforced boxes, but they heal for like double <laughs> almost. Yeah, probably they not are, double, but actually still count. Big. Count between each one. Let's see. And you four, see why I love the black metal ones. Four, four by eight. And this one is four by six. Yeah, it's two more rows, eight more spots. Yeah, and these two are easier to organize with. For they not yeah. that awkward height. And yeah, we, we can just just these, like, if if I replace two, two up here, and we still use these regular over here, we're golden. Then we can use these, these ones here for some other food, like honey, blood, things that stacks very high, then we can put them in smaller chests anyway, since, yeah, they stack high anyway. Okay. Then we can have, yeah, I think we can use four of these for cooked, finished cooked food. Yeah, then, those do, then the stuff by the stairs. Loot. Uh, actually, potions will probably be good over here. Okay. Yeah, loot and potions. There. But yeah, the some of this should one probably box. do off stream. Now I've already moved everything in there. <laughs> oh dear. Oh yeah, the rest of the food sorting we can do out at a time. Uh, yeah. Now, where's Glacier Boy? Uh, Glacier Boy, where are you? Repairing gear. I don't see them, actually. Okay. I don't even see them on the map. And but it's... We actually already have storage for the potions, unless you can fit them under those metal boxes under here as well. Oh, right. Uh... We already oh, right, all hard to produce. True. I guess I just random blue over here then. And where did Glacier Boy go? Did they disconnect? I'm not seeing them on the map. Oh, they just said. I think they did disconnect, but they're still in the chat and they just. Yeah, Steam has told me they are just logged on to Valheim. Okay. So I guess they did disconnect. Okay, might be that they are more busy on their end than they expected to be. Uh, um, is there any other use for barley flour? Just looking up, up on the phone here at the moment. Blood pudding, bread dough, fish wraps, and lox pie. Yep, blood pudding. It's bloody tasty. Let's see, 25 health, 75 stamina. Lost for half an hour. Hmm. 
I think we can probably spare some to just make some breads. Actually, I'm gonna check the windmills. And then we should probably sleep once the Glacier Boy comes back. Oh, someone forgot one of the doors open. Okay. And let's go destroy it. Um. Hmm? There's no 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 ball. Did you pick up the other ball already? Yes. Oh, all right. I mean, I'll go and refill both of them, and it's morning. <laughs> no need for sleep, then. <clears throat> okay, we'll just collect the stuff that we left behind, move the, yeah, move the boat over, and go explore. Yeah, once Glacier Boy returns. But yeah, there's a lot of loot over there we need to pick up for. I see people sometimes ignore skip up, uh, pick up Black Metal, but that's much, but... Since we're gonna need to do a new map anyway in the future, I if I grab as much as possible. Yeah. And he nice. has no seen why. Starting with black metal chest will reduce shelves a lot. Let's see. Bread beats onion soup from the looks of it. 20 to 23 on health, 60 to 70. On stamina, 20 minutes to 25, and one heal, one health per tick to two health per tick. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'm just going to bake a bunch of bread. That's actually a good idea for it's easier to mass produce. Once you have the flower rolling. Yep. Fish rubs is also good as long as you have enough fish. So... Yeah, for which you actually have the fish, so that can take a bit longer. We, we do have some fish in the box here we can uh, turn. You can also cook some good fish already. But yeah, if you see a fish on the beach, grab it. Okay, this and this must fish, smell absolutely heavenly. Yes. I do wonder if they have any connections here. Uh, Glacier Boy, can you write on Discord if you have a uh, connection issue? Red chicken. What else should we make that try and make our one of our mainstay foods? Uh, hmm. Looks pie when we can. Do we have enough to even make lox pie? And uh, we have a good amount of lox meat, I think. Let me check. Uh, if All we right, have they are heavy issues. So they may have some con uh, connection issues. Okay. Let's see. The unbaked lox pie is made at so much silver. Cauldron. I feel like we almost wasted gathering all hmm. that silver. Yeah, maybe we can use it for decorations or such. The east no decoration to use the silver. Yeah. Oh uh, well. <laughs> I, at least I, that I remember. At least not decoration, but. The, the butcher table here used silver for some reason, but that's kind of. There might be some more. I think there's some uh, miscellaneous items that use some silver, but not to that amount, I think. That's it, it's probably good to have. I think there are silver arrows, but. Yeah, you knew me and using metal for arrows. Yeah, we could use it for that. It would be a better than having than carrying around wooden arrows as the basic. 
Yeah, so for the arrows is, is good enough for hunting. Well, except for losses. And I think spirit arrows are good against... Yeah, undead and such. Oh yeah, zero yeah. arrow. One silver, two feathers and eight, so... 20 spirit, 52 pierce. Yeah, it's, it feels like it's one of those arrows you probably would use... Uh, maybe against Pumas, but hesitant. Like, it may work against the other undead. Okay. And uh, apparently I'm getting 17 comfort sitting in front of these things. Well, it, it is warm. No, I don't know how much comfort the oven gives. Like, is it like a normal campfire? Or is it like a hearth? Probably hearth level, though I think it might be more because I'm in between the hot top and the rest of the things. Yeah, and we have the hearth behind us as well. Ooh, looks pie. No. Yep, I got seven, so you should have picked up ten, and not three to make three. ten. I got three, and we put them in a box. Mm. And put mm. this one up here. We should have one box for stamina, one box for uh, health. Okay. And later one box for oh, we, we have a lot more. We have a lot more meat in, in these boxes, it seems. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we can use these four for cooked food and the other four next to here for vegetables and whatnot. Or barley. There. Cloudberries. Even more barley to be found. Onions. Fish. Uh, I, how glaciable will be able to join? No. Boat trip, I think we can do just us too for... Having connection issues while being on a boat? Would be a problem, yeah. Yeah, and I have seen it happen. I don't know if it was with us or someone else. That it can end up badly. And also, a lot of reason why you want a host to drive the boat. Okay. Mm, actually, we could probably... Since we have motors power now, we probably don't even need to break the boat and just sail upwards. Yeah, we, we finally... Like, here's the thing. And he, actually, this goes for you especially now, Hillian. In the future... When we go to a new map, you should always have the mother's uh, blessing. Yeah, since it makes exploring so much easier and, well, <laughs> how much I got freaked out by getting needing to go over the freaking ocean and then with the chance of having the, the weather change. Yeah. No. If we get some harpoons, we can definitely start hunting the sea serpents. Yep. That we be... The, the main reason we, we both dislike sailing across big open ocean, especially early on, is because of the serpent. Yeah, and the chance of losing all of our stuff. Other than the yeah. ones that, what we have equipped. Like, it would be an absolute horror to just lose the freaking black metal sword I have now, or the Frostner, because a stupid snake turned up out of nowhere. Yeah, do, it, those will float on water, for they've been turned into boxes, and their runes don't will float. Okay. But... The problem is you will need a new boat to see to get it. Yeah. And pray the weather is good. Because let's be honest, if you don't have the Mother's Blessing, there's a good chance that weather will give the finger most of the time. Yeah. Like... I don't know how many times I had the wind has been just rude and only giving me the opposite wind I want, so I ha am forced to row or forced to sail somewhere else. Not that in the ocean so far yet, <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to. Okay, I'll get to work getting the boat turned around. Yeah, we really should start building some docks around the place to make it easier. Yeah, we should have some outp boat outpost where we can sail to, repair, sail on. 
think it's it's easy when there's a big gap right next to where this one was parked. But with yeah, others, but... it's a nuisance trying to get away from the from the shore. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Before we forget, Oops. portals, because we don't have yeah, a port. Uh, actually, we do have we have portals on Motors Island. But we should still bring yeah, one along did... for exploring. Yeah, we did some here to explore that island, but there might be planes by it, for all we know. So it might be too early to use the boat still. Though, probably say good to position it properly. Yeah, and to get it... Well, we could use it to explore the coastline, which we would be doing faster than on foot. It, that depends a lot, actually. Sometimes it's faster to explore on foot. Sometimes by boat. Yeah, depending on the weather. Indeed, and the terrain and all that. Uh, let's see. And we have about 40 minutes remaining. Uh, I hope Glacier Boy will be able to join us. Though, if it's most of exploring, they're probably not missing out much. Nope. I should probably run over and pick up all the loot we left behind on the plane. Ooh, before that despawns. Yeah, it would take a while, but... Better to know than forget it. Yeah, that is a lot of black metal that we left behind. Yeah. Okay. Were well, you behind me, Hill? Yep. Okay. I was to say, was that Glacier Boy? Oh, and speaking no. of... Um, that's not Glacier Boy. Uh, that's a lox. Didn't, oh, didn't they returned, you mean? Yep. Oh, okay! I thought you meant the locks! <laughs> oh, there's even more outside here. Yeah, now you see where we could just tame these and have a locks farm here? Yeah. Though it will mm. take a while and... I don't like how... Don't... They seem to spawn here often, so we could even just have a locks hunting ground here. We could, yeah. Wait, is that... Is that what I think it is? What, me kicking a mosquito in the face? <laughs> I need to check this for... If there's the room in this damn tower... Mm. Oh no, just... Just a whole doorway and some yep. pokey things that... Made it look like a room from distance. <laughs> and, oh, I forgot that angle of the locks. Who's probably gonna break down the rest of the tower now? Okay, in the meantime, I'm having to run back because I got ambushed by two of the stupid mosquitoes. And there, there, and there. Probably still. And now I'm running. <clears throat> And gathering things I did not want to gather. If I was, uh, well, anyway, welcome back, Glacier Boy. Uh, how does the connection feel at the moment? You can yell in chat, but well, in game chat, that is. Come on, it's fine right now. All right, okay, we should be able to get in some exploring still then. Lord, uh, yeah, I'll say this. We, we could, instead of taming them, we can use this area as a farming slash hunting ground. Though it's probably we mean we could expand the farm there and improve the house if we have some comfort between the hunts. Probably. So we don't need to teleport all the way back each time. We just go into the house, sit down, then rush out. Overall, it could mean we have a reason to make a tower, though. How big? It will depend. Mm, we could maybe try, like, a, a wide-pronged uh, 
a white legged tower of sorts so that if they try to get at us they won't actually hit the legs uh i would say we should just have them behind the walls Okay, no other mosquitoes. Find it will be killed a lot on. I put a dot on it, though I didn't. I didn't sign it on. It's uh, southwest uh, from where you are now. Uh, you can ping on the map, you know. Yeah. Uh, let's see how again. Ah, middle. Oh, I was there. <laughs> I can see it by the special rocks there. And it says in the sky, Kilia Ping. <laughs> Guess there's a goddess named Kilia around here, writing letters in the sky. <laughs> okay, that arrow went right between the wolf's legs. Let's see, just upgrading 8k and making needle. I never thought it would have killed the wolf, but okay. I'll just face it manually. Hmm. <clears throat> Now, once, uh, once your weapon is fully upgraded, we can put all the other black metal towards chests. Drink. I can hear drakes, but I have no interest in fighting them. And no golems. Honestly, would have I honestly expected to get ambushed by one of those at least once in this bit of mountain, but I guess it's not big enough. Oop. Well, they only expect they, 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 they only ambush you when you don't expect them. If you roll around and expect a golem, they will leave you alone. <laughs> the mountain shall once again fear my wrath. I'm pretty sure you got slapped around by a golem last time. Uh, wasn't that you? Yeah, I'm the one who was parrying them. So was I. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of stone. All right. Nice, but a bit useless. Alright, I got some of the black metal up, up, up to 30. I mean, okay, something some <laughs> something punched a hole in this rock. Probably a lox or a golem. Of course, the moment I get out of the mountain, two freaking mosquitoes. It, also, one thing I feel we should do on the next map. But that's team wolves. Yeah. Oh, now you see the rock you made with a hook. How? Did, did a lox get up here and smash a hole in it? Maybe. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh, there were more metal stuff here. <laughs> yeah, Glacier Boy says it was them running away from the locks. Okay, oh. so yeah, I did get on top there. I don't see any more. I've even I've even got some space left to just annoy the foolings for a second. I don't. Oh, I can't even pick up. Why can't I pick up? Oh, that's why. Uh, there we go. Hello. One of the big boys st stuck out. St yeah, stuck outside. I hear angry noises. I see a uh, captain running away from a big angry green man. There we go. Yeah, yeah if these guys leave themselves to... wide open. Yeah, if you they all start smashing, try to run around them if you can. It's yeah, hard so... to do when there's many tiny ones. Yeah, since but their the attack is... it goes a lot more forwards and sideways. Yeah. Do they have some sideways sweeps you should watch out for? But when they start smashing the ground up and down, that's when you run around and hit them from the back. You can yeah. parry the normal attacks, 
but you cannot fire with the uh, ground pounder. <laughs> Yeah, that's glazy in the distance. All right. Okay, I got uh, 32 black iron, uh, black metal. Uh, don't go that way. What did you do? I heard at least one fooling up there. There's loxes. Or a. Yeah, two locks. Uh, do and we have enough ammo and. Uh, I've only space 12 arrows. You only got two. Yeah, I've only got 12 arrows with me, so don't think we should fight them. I got 13. I guess. Glacier Boy have enough? Yeah, let's just but, go around. And yeah, <laughs> let's go drop around. Drop off the stuff. A 40 needle ones. Okay. Yeah, let, let's uh, let's retreat for now then, and unload. And yeah, something I guess Helion will uh, do off stream a lot is melt all the damn black metal. Yeah, and get more iron. Yeah. And he uh, ran into something again. I think it was the Loxus. You know, you can't spend the time you press that button <laughs> to just run away from it and get further, <laughs> more distance, huh? Uh, there's some comic leaves in it, I will admit. <laughs> and we definitely know there's something happening. Angry keyboard spam. <laughs> Sit still, yeah. green skins. Fuck. We, 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 had, we, we had a lot of reason to just not throw black metal away. We, we tried to get as much of it as possible since, again, when the next map, when we start a new world, we want that luxury storage. Yeah. Let's I'll toss some woods for a bit of black metal. Two up ahead. Okay, spears are down. Okay, yeah, I feel like this does almost more damage against the foolings, this weapon. Yeah, it also doesn't knock them away as far, so it definitely allows for more hits. Indeed. And I guess. Uh, they don't. So they do this is a piece and blunt. It's just it's just more pure damage against them. But I would not be surprised if spirit is less effective against them. Could be. Since they are not undead. <laughs> more. But more black metal up here, really? No, I heard a fooling. And there's a ski no, 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 I see blue black metals up here. Okay. Uh, let's see, there's a bit over here as well. Where's those oh, foolings? I unloaded the food into the campfire there. Oh, well. There's survivors here. Wait, is one of... No, for a moment it sounded like one of the foolings was in the base. They sound close. They, they are! How did you get in here? <laughs> and they are destroying the Bali. Oh. Oh, we, that's before we do have a workbench against that wall and try not to destroy the plan <laughs> there we go okay i know how to fix this i just need some wood <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I think it, it seems like there's a spot there where the workbench just doesn't reach the circle, hence why they spawned in there. Could be that, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Time to put these away. Cash goes there. Bangs and needles. There and there. Oh, that's already a stack, so those get moved to extra storage. There. Okay. Frost stuff? Uh... We really need to organize it. You can put the fruit stuff here, but we can cook with it, after all. Okay. Uh, for, yeah, for uncooked food stuff, just put it... Uh, yeah, meat on the left, vegetarian on the right. Yeah, I usually have, like, vegetables, like, things on farm. Then one for forage, like mushroom, berries and such. I usually put the mushrooms for themselves. Yeah, okay. But yeah, there will be some more organizing there. Uh, let's sleep, pass the night. And then we can spend our last half hour-ish sailing around the uh, new island. Sound like a good idea. I mean, just... <laughs> Copy some uh, notes. All right, so note those down. Let's see, I think we found at least one Leviathan somewhere. Yeah. If we see one, we should definitely harvest them. Okay. And we should get double loot from them now as well, so... As long as we, one, we have, like, two harpoons, those probably be good at it as spares, in case disaster happens. Uh, he harvests the barnacles from their back. <laughs> and wait, there's Leviathan's and Rimworld. Uh, probably through a mod, I guess. Okay, I'm heading for the boat already. The <laughs> Organ harvesting. Okay. Wait, I gotta grab some ammo. <coughs> One thing I want to get. One thing I should probably also do at some point in a new world is just destroy every bush that isn't a berry bush. Because then I know which to destroy and not when I'm running through places. Uh, the berry bushes are lighter green, a bit brighter green. Okay. Oh, uh, let's not forget the materials for the portals. Uh, I got the eyeballs. Okay. I'm probably gonna need some more things. And is the explorer portal connected at the base? Uh, good question. Because it'd be, it, it would rather suck if we put down a portal and it doesn't connect because there's already one connecting. Swamp, mountain, merchant, farm. Okay, where's the... I'm gonna check now where the heck the... Explorer is. Harbor, bone mass, elder, motor. Explore. Explore is connected. Okay. I think it I is connected it's... to the same island as motor. Hmm. It is. It is indeed. Okay. I'll be ping for you to mark on the map. I think I already have a marker on there, yeah? You definitely didn't, for otherwise I would have seen the marking as well, for I did copy the table. Hmm. 
Okay, odd, because I thought I saw a second name where you were at the moment. Okay, just mark it all the same. Hmm. Okay, shall we then still take the boat or shall we go look around on foot? I say let's go on foot for now, since we already have a portal here anyway. Okay, I'll just grab the running clothes. Yeah, we really need to get you Fenris armor. <laughs> Can you run a little bit faster and not in the nude? Let's see. Fenris it, uh, makes you... Okay. But we need Fenris hair for that. Okay, at the moment I'm just using the... <clears throat> I'm just using the the, the stamina, you know, the clothes, plus some leather pants, so not to be pantsless. Yeah. Uh, explore, uh, Glitch Boy. Explore. This one? Yeah. Also, more reason we should do it on foot, since we are short on time, and being short on time while on boat is probably a bad idea. Yeah. So it's safer to log out on land, where we just can make a quick campsite. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can just run back to this one, unless we head off too far. Indeed. Okay. There we go, I got enough so we can make a campfire if needed. Yeah, for that we can just chop down some, if, <clears throat> some uh, trees if need be. You could just pick up branches of stones and make a campfire that way. That mushrooms, also. <laughs> yes. Grab all the mushrooms. For we may need to... We may not need to do that anymore, but just in case. Yeah, better to have some. Ooh, berries. Yeah, for having extra good spare food will always be good. Focusing only on the best, the best food can be an issue. Okay. It, basically, you, you we probably have some food you use in the base and some food you use in an exploration. Yeah, in case you get raided or just for to be able to build for longer times without needing to take a break. Indeed, and as well, if you use your best food when you're just building at home, and it's you just a have waste. food for exploring and a quest and all that. Okay. And it will be very stressful. I'll cover the coastline. You two are going more inland. Uh, we, I think we are trying to follow you. Emphasis on try, from the looks of it. Kill. There's a reason uh, that Beanie suggested to put a leech on you. <laughs> For apparently you have a habit to run away from everyone. Okay, it, is only, it, it is only the meadows here, so it's hardly a threat. And I immediately run into the neck, into a patch of black forest. And then suddenly he, he activates the pack of wolves. For the only event that can happen out in the open is the wolf hunt. Okay. Which somehow Some skeletons. Happened, happened to me being close to the shoreline. Sea Which wolves. Okay, at least the island is looking to be rather sizable. This is good, but then that means it has a good chance to find other secondary base locations, harbor, other uh, biomes, resources, and all that. Oh, and I think I can see another island or an extension of this one from here. Okay. Also, it would be nice for us to be able to catch up with you so we see what you are seeing. <laughs> okay, I'll wait for a sec. Mm. 
There we go. Yeah. Okay, the wit effect is making my character. <laughs> the wit effect is making my character look like they're depressed or something. <laughs> what? Just if you're sitting down, it hangs over you like a rain cloud. Uh, can you repeat that? I think you said it wrong there. Because when we're sit when you're sitting down, it hangs over like a rain cloud. There we go. Now you said it correct. Or you just misheard it again. I don't know, I'm pretty sure you said Rain Clown. <laughs> okay. Island that way. Alright. That color... That might be Black Forest? Had that uh, to be really, really almost blackish brown? Yeah, that but looks like... But if it was more black, it would be Mistlands. Uh, black forest and meadows, I think. Could be. From the trees that I can see, I can see an oak. Oh, you have the red distance far. Yep. Yeah, I think I have four, but not that far. <laughs> Borestone, from I'm guessing. Maybe. Oh, this is a borestone, indeed. Uh, probably. Yeah, borestone. <laughs> Okay. We may not need boar meat, but... Oh, there's always good to have boar meat for sausage, but... The, this leather scraps will be useful for making bombs for... I'm not kidding. We will need those bombs in the Mistlands to deal with ticks okay. and other things. I'm guessing those are more swarm enemies. Yeah, they will jump onto you, hold onto you, and suck you dry. Basically, kill them before they attach to you. For you will need to dodge through to get them off of you. Or mm. be lucky you have them on an angle you can hit them. And big and yeah, seeker soldiers. Soldier. <laughs> they are the. I think, unlike other biomes, they have two heavy hitters Seeker Soldier and the Yal. Okay. And Seeker Soldiers are walking tanks. Sort of. Y'all dumps ticks on you. Yeah. Hence why you want the bombs. And that's Black Forest ahead, I think. As we moved back into meadows. Ooh, mushrooms. I will not be surprised. Uh, but, but how does it look? Okay, I will not be surprised if there's planes up north. Necktails, still useful for potions, at least poison resist. Let's see, I think it looks like deep north. What? What looks it, like deep north? Uh, I don't think we are going that far. And I think deep north, or is it... I think it's called Deep North or Far North, uh, the most northern area. Okay. Berries. Okay. The island isn't as wide as I'd hoped, but oh well. No troll. Uh Oh, I have a good weapon against the troll. Uh, wait, that that's a one-star troll. <laughs> no, no, no need to give them that bad of a review on Yelp. No, no, that's... A... I can't block him! As long as your block armor is strong enough. Okay, now he's just <laughs> bullying. <laughs> Okay. How much should we get the 20 troll hide full stack? <laughs> okay. Do, uh, with this setting you have that is uh, X2 resource setting, 
I would say if you are able to kill a Warstone troll early on, you will have a lot of troll leather. Just you don't want to fight one star troll early on. I had that happen. It's not fun. And somehow, here's the thing. The more common the further out you go, but I had the bad luck to find one early on in the starting area. Not Pardon? fun. <clears throat> oh, you I thought you giggled. No, sneeze. Oh, sneeze. Okay. Oh, bless you. Okay, I'm guessing, I'm guessing managing this shield is better than I thought. Okay, now it's widening out again, so that's a good sign. Oh yeah, it is a good size still, though the mountain does <clears throat> ruin a lot of good building areas at times. Okay, now just go straight up again. More berries. I do like it with mazes that when you hit the little graylings, they just fly away. Okay, apparently this next have a stagger state as well, and it looks weird as. <laughs> <laughs> it oh, looks weird thing. with them flailing their little arms. Uh, what time are we? Five minutes remaining? Uh, ten more. Uh, oh, wait, ten. Yes, ten more. I. Brain derp. Stone circle? Ooh, yes. Yeah. I actually tried to use a stone circle as a garden and. It turned out pretty damn well, especially if you pounded out an oak in the middle. Okay, I found another one of those earlier. Oh, swamp? Um, yeah, that's swamp. No, that's more meadows as well. Though, there could still be planes for all we know. And we've got a start neck here. Oh, what is it? We had a start neck. Now mine doesn't feel as special. But, oh yeah, Glacier Bull built his house in the middle of a stone circle. Which I have done it before, this is kind of nice though. It can kind of become rather cramped quickly. Now you could probably build like a raised section over it using those oh, yeah, yeah. stones as supports. Yeah, for a lot of stuff about the stone circles, you can't destroy them. Okay, so that also means that the enemies shouldn't be able to either. Indeed, so they can be protected. Hence, I thought, all right, it could work for a small camp. You know, we just have a, a campfire, like a bonfire, a small house to sleep in, or a tall tower base, or use, use it as a well-protected uh, garden for your harvest. Yeah. Do they also have special stone, very big stone circles in the, the plains? I wonder if they are the same. For they are much bigger, and we have a bit of stone road. So if we were to find one... Okay. I heard a, a, a abomination, but yeah, if you find that there's stone hidden things in the plains... Hmm. And if they also did indestructible, they could be, be easier to meet... Uh, yeah, to protect your farm? base there. Yeah, farm, base, everything. If they are immune to be harvested. Okay, that was a small swamp. And where, yeah. where did Glacier Boy go? There's Glacier Boy. Hmm. I think we might be getting to the top unless it's... No, it's not going to extend northwards. We're at, we found uh, probably the end of this island, it seems. Well, at least we explored it. Oh, more stone circles here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to go around with the boat to try and find new places to raid. Hmm. Yeah, we have some leads on big <clears throat> on some islands around. 
Yeah, there's some EV we haven't fully explored either. Yeah, we probably should do that off screen. Yeah, like, there's some places we see we, they say we have gone by but not landed. Those probably would be a good idea to go for, to, you know, just to make sure we're not missing out. Yeah, and apparently Glacier Boy has gone into the swamp. Yeah, wh wh why are you going there, Glacier Boy? Get out of the swamp! Food? Well... Yeah, we do... The stuff from there is still useful. But I think we pretty, we I think we have more than enough entrails to go for a while though. Uh, huh, there seems to be land in the horizon. It's, if there is, then I'm uh, not seeing it. Uh, west. West. Uh, the sun is glaring, so I'm not really seeing anything. Yeah, this the evening fog is blocking it out now. Yeah, and that's dinner call, so I guess we'll have to call it a bit early. All right. So gather up somewhere safe. In the, yeah, yeah. Let's get up in the meadows again and look out there. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Annoyingly early for once. Because typically dinner is after five. On Wednesdays, due to the yeah, I got it. swim, let's uh, go to the Wednesday swimming. Yeah, let's go to the stone circle. Let's Where was that sun stone circle again? Yeah, I think any Actually, any spot in the meadow should be good enough. Okay, yeah, let's do it in the open where we can, where it's a bit easier to see. Yeah, there's also or, a burial spot here. Probably should not make that our own burial. In on our own burial yeah, site. Okay. Let's see here. Somewhere that looks good. Over here. Uh let's see. I do need to go, so this is yeah. probably the best we get at the moment. Okay, log off, and I'll end the stream then. All right. One, two, okay, quit. Okay, then we go over here, and yeah, not really time to raid, so uh, yeah. Thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Let's see, do we have any lurkers? Nope. Okay, at least not no, no known ones. All right. Uh, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Glacier Boy and here. And with some luck, another stream later today in about three hours. Not fully sure, but well, we'll see. Yeah, I look forward to it, to it already. If we all to do more streams, I hope we do. <laughs> okay, but for now, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls and uh, foolings. Yep, see you later my friend, and have a good feast.